So welcome back to Group and Rotor Company. Um, we've got a sequel for you. Last uh, video we did, we were telling you about the $10,000 Tesla Model S that a customer actually bought for a third of what the car normally sells for. So the reason this $10,000 Tesla Model S came to us was a bad battery pack. And um, since we work on battery packs all day long, this for example is a Tesla Roadster sheet, and um, we uh, isolate and find the bad cells in these sheets, and then the cars come back to life. So this is exactly what we did with that $10,000 Model S. So let's go outside and we'll show it to you. Um, this car literally came in completely dead. We pulled it off the uh, transporter. Fortunately, it was left in tow mode, so we were able to wheel it in. This is what the car looks like today. This car now, which came in completely dead at zero miles, charges to 164 miles. It's only a 60, so that's really not that bad mileage for a car that's got 130,000 miles on it. Um, over the weekend, this is a clean title car, by the way. Some of the cars we work on are salvage title. Um, we took it to the supercharger, and it supercharges just fine. Uh, it needs a windshield. A lot of Tesla Model S's do. And um, seems to have plenty of power. We've been driving it all week. And uh, so this customer ended up buying it for $10,000, put under $5,000 into the car for our repairs, we'll probably put another thousand or two into the windshield, um, powder coating the wheels, the tires are actually in decent shape, and he's going to sell this car, he's going to flip it. And I guarantee you, a customer that's able to buy a car for $10,000, put five in it, and sell it for 30 is going to be back for more of our magic. pound Tesla Model S battery pack around. We have special equipment that can handle not only the weight but also maneuver that battery pack. This particular gadget here actually is able to raise and lower and backwards or lateral. So what we do with this device is we park it underneath the car and uh, with a Tesla Model S we then drop the car onto this platform the battery then is disconnected 
and we're able to maneuver this out from underneath the car and use this as a work table to uh, actually work on the cells and on the pack. And in the first installment of this video, you can see some of the images that we uh, took of the pack out of the car. The actual work then on the module to isolate the bad cell or cells is done in our high voltage battery test and repair section. Here you can see some, some uh, Tesla Roadster sheets that are being worked on. And this is essentially where we then isolate the bad cells and repair them. As always, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We've got all kinds of cool Tesla tech taking place there. And um, would love to have you become a subscriber and become part of our family.